the business end of competition here at the third stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup here in the beautiful city of Paris. Charlotte Stadium has been our venue for the past four days. We've cut down over 350 archers down to just a few. Next, we'll move on to Chateau du Vesson this weekend for the finals. It's been an interesting couple days of eliminations. Despite a full Korean team being in attendance, there won't be many great white sharks in the finals. And Mike Schlusser's unbeaten run finally ended. But the French compounders have stepped up to the plate. Nico Girard, Sophie Dodemont, and the mixed team all have a shot at the win this weekend. Super bien, je suis très heureux, j'ai très très bien tiré. Il uh, y a des petites erreurs qui ont fait que j'ai fait des petits neufs, mais je vais continuer à m'entraîner pour la finale pour que ça soit encore mieux. C'est très important parce qu'on est à Paris, uh, c'est la capitale de mon pays, je suis très heureux de pouvoir représenter la France uh, ici et j'espère pouvoir remporter la médaille d'or. And the big news of the day wasn't necessarily what happened on the field. World Archery has officially submitted a request to include compound archery at the Olympics in LA 28. Um, for me, I think it's going to be even more professional and the level will even rise more than it already is. And it's going to be awesome because I think uh, a lot of countries will invest in their national teams as well then and just the top is going to grow and grow and grow and I think it will be very exciting for the competitions. From a future potential Olympic discipline to a current Olympic discipline, let's check out what happened with the recurves. It was a ridiculous day. Top seated archers were dropping like flies, but we had two wonderful stories emerge. Last year's runner up at the World Championships, Marcus Dalmeida, made a huge comeback against Olympic champion Mete Gazos to secure a spot in the final four. And 17 year old Penny Healy beat reigning Olympic champion Ansan and former world champion Lei Chin Ying on her way to booking her debut appearance in the spotlight. I thought they were unbeatable until I actually did it. So, yeah, I'm shocked. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I first got here. I've always grown up watching everyone shoot in Paris, and it's amazing to finally be here and be in the final. Goodbye, Charlotte Stadium. It's been emotional. See you tomorrow at Chateau de Vincent de Montmartre.